Nagaland Advisor of Agriculture, Matung Yantan, while participating in a discussion to governors addressed to the August House in the third day of the 14th NLA, said that the PDA government is committed to give utmost importance towards improvement of the agriculture sector for enhancing productivity and production. He highlighted that the socio-economic progress of the state continues to be reliant on agriculture and allied activities and said that about 70% of the population is directly or indirectly dependent on the sector. Yanthan also stated that the PDA government is, is sincerity and com sincere and committed towards the cause and the welfare of the people of Nagaland in keeping with its motto towards the state of excellence. Mr. Speaker said, the socio-economic progress of our state continues to be reliant on agriculture and allied activities. <coughs> in view of the fact that 70% of the population is directly or indirectly dependent on the agriculture sector. Therefore, the PDA government is committed to give utmost importance towards improvement of agriculture sector for enhancing productivity and production. To this end, the various agreement and allied departments during the current year and their plan of action for the coming year have been prominently highlighted from para 7 till 10, which are noteworthy. The policy and programs and achievements of other sectors of the government departments, as mentioned in the subsequent paras, also speaks volume about the pace of development and progress the state is witnessing, which is possible because of the strong and decisive leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister and the stable government that he is heading. I congratulate our Honorable Chief Minister for taking on the chair for the record fifth time as Chief Minister of Nagaland. I wish him good health, divine wisdom, vision to lead the people of Nagaland. Speaker Sir, as we all know, education is important for growth of a vibrant society. Education not only makes a smart, informed population, but it boosts economic growth and increases the GDP of a nation. Therefore, the various innovative projects being implemented by school education for <coughs> students across the state is noteworthy and appreciated by all. I would like to make a special mention of the World Bank funded project, the Nagaland Education Project, the Lighthouse, which is also called LECTA and also the performance incentive grants made available to all the 1,953 government schools in Nagaland are novel initiatives which will give a much needed facility to the, the school infrastructure and also provide a fillip to the quality of education in Nagaland. Speaker sir, establishment of the first ever medical college in Nagaland at Kohima, which is to start functioning from the academic year 2023-24, as mentioned at Para 25, is a welcome initiative of the government, which is going to fulfill the wishes and aspirations of the people of the state after a long time. <coughs> These are testament of the PDA government's sincerity and commitment towards the cause and welfare of the people of Nagaland. In keeping with the PDA government's motto towards the state of excellence. So with these few comments, I support a motion of thanks to the coroner's address. Thank you very much, Speaker Senator. Thank you.